my friends, it's been a while since my last video. I have to be careful with my mental health and January has kicked my butt. So I thought I would make a new version of an old project just to get my creativity going. Last winter I made this fire inspired spread in my 6x6 Dina Wakely craft journal. So today we're changing up colors, composition and focal point but keeping the fiery inspiration. Let's give it a go, shall we? I find a blank spread and bring out Dina Wakely's paints in turquoise, blackberry and gloss spray in night. But before I make a messy background I will focus on my focal point. I wanted a fierce woman with fiery hair again, but different, so I sketched out this woman's face with hair like flames around her. She isn't perfect in any way, but as I drew her I felt my inspiration reignite. So we're going with Miss Fire. Now I love Dina Wakely's color palette but I find the scribble sticks hard to get control over and I usually end up taking a wet brush to the sticks and painting which isn't ideal for me. But I want those vibrant colors so I bought a distress palette and over the holidays I used a blade and scratched off pigment from the ends of each stick to fill up my palette. I added water so I wouldn't have to worry about the scrapings flying away and let it dry. And now I have this scribble stick palette with the color names on the lid. I only have set 1 and 3 so the space in the middle is for set number 2 whenever I can get my hands on it. To start with the colouring of this woman I brought out my Prima Complexion palette to give her a skin tone. I use a lot of water because I intend to go over her face a second time after I colour her hair so I don't spend a lot of time on this layer. I just put some shadows down and a light wash all over so I have something to build on. To color her hair I'm using my scribble stick palette and activate the pigment with a mist of water. When coloring her flaming hair I work wet on wet, meaning I put down a light wash of water and then I drop in the pigment and let them blend together. I use lemon, tangerine and ruby for her whole hair adding the ruby red at the base of each flame, followed by orange and finally yellow. These scribble sticks are permanent when dry and they pack an amazing color punch, perfect for Miss Fire. When I drew my fiery girl I put a few flames around her hair but not attached and a couple of little flames on her face. I paint the beginning and end of each eyebrow with ruby and blend the red out with tangerine at the angle of her brows. I want her flaming hair to warm up and reflect on her face. That's why I only did one layer of skin tone, because now I start using the scribble stick palette with the same colors. I dilute the colors with a lot of water and start adding red, orange and yellow where the shadows from her hair would be. 
I blend out harsh lines with more water and work in layers so I can get the right amount of color on her skin. To finish her skin I use the same skin tone color from the first layer diluted with water to smooth out any harsh lines in the center of her face and for her lips I use ruby red with a highlight of tangerine in the middle. For her eyes I mix turquoise evergreen and the dark blue night to get the dark teal colored eyes I want for her. And finally I put a hint of yellow on the reflections in her eyes. So now I have Miss Fire colored and it's time to make a fun background in my 6x6 craft journal. As a first step I bring out Dina Wakely's clear gesso because the gesso will seal the pages so the brown pages won't dull my colors. And using a brush I give the pages a thin layer. When the gesso is dry I bring out Dina Wakely's turquoise acrylic paint and as random as I possibly can I spread that lovely turquoise with a flat brush. I want many layers and textures so I bring out a brick stencil from Pronti and blackberry acrylic paint. Using a blending tool I stencil those purple bricks in three places to create a triangle that draws your eye in. Next I place the journal in my spray box and bring out this gorgeous big flourish stencil from Dina Wakely. I also bring out a gloss spray which is like an acrylic spray in the dark blue color Night. I place my stencil on a page and mask off everything else with copy paper before I spray the dark blue gloss spray through the stencil. And so I don't waste that spray on top of my stencil I press a scrap piece of cardstock onto it and get the negative of that amazing stencil before I remove the stencil. Then I do the same procedure two more times and if I get spray where I don't want it I can wipe it off with a baby wipe while it's still wet. And I finish this stenciling by taking another negative print in gloss spray. Now let's add another layer. I have this old book with beautiful writing and Dina Wakely's gel medium. I tear the book pages into pieces and use the gel medium to glue down and seal those pieces of text. On my original Fire Lady spread I use this alphabet stencil from Dina Wakely and like before I use the letters, the masks from that stencil and I spell the word bright. With those letters still in place I bring out a favorite paper artsy stencil that my dear friend Linda gifted me. I love those uneven circles. 
I used black acrylic paint to go over my letters a couple of times. Then I used that black paint on my sponge to darken the edges of my pages. Before I used that stencil with circles and stencil in black imperfect circles in three places. When I remove the letters, I get the word bright. And in those letters, I can see both stenciling and text peeking through. To bring out my letters and make them crisp, I use a white gel pen to go around them, getting that contrast between the letters, the black and the white pen. I have an alphabet die set from Tim Holtz and from that set I cut the word burn from orange and black cardstock and I stack the orange letters onto the black for that extra chunky look. Next I glue down Miss Fire along with those unattached flames around her head. I also glue down those orange letters spelling burn above the word bright. At this point I was going to say that the last thing I do is to add two colored and cut out flames for balance. But since I named her Miss Fire in this voiceover, I stopped and die cut Miss Fire from the same die set in yellow and orange and glue the letters down under the word bright so it says burn bright Miss Fire. It's like it was meant to be. But now, these fiery mixed media pages are finished. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Until the next time, happy crafting!